Howdy! Before we start playing the banjo, we need to tune the banjo, which would seem fairly obvious. Generally, banjos are tuned to an open G tuning, which is what we will be doing today. We'll also be discussing string numbers, which will apply to later lessons in tablature. Once we get the banjo in tune, we'll be looking at different points on the neck where we can compare strings using something called relative pitch, which will make sure that your banjo is right where it's supposed to be. So go ahead and grab your banjo, and let's get into it. Okay, let's get our banjo in tune. Strings have numbers, and you'll see this applies to tablature later on. Think in terms of counting up. The string closest to the floor is the first string. Go to the second, the third, fourth, and fifth. That's an open G right there. If you're just starting, think. You already know one chord. Okay, let's get in tune here. Our first string is tuned to a D. Our second string is tuned to a B. Our third string is tuned to a G. Our fourth string is tuned to a D. And our fifth string is tuned to a G. Open G. Okay, now we're going to talk about those string comparisons. Let's remember that our strings are numbered. The one, two, three, four, five. Think of counting up. Okay? The comparisons we're talking about. If we take and push down on the fifth fret, which is right here, first fret, second fret, third fret, fourth fret, fifth fret, we depress on that. And we pluck that, and we pluck the string directly underneath it, so we're going to be plucking fourth to third string. You're going to see that the tones match. You hear how they match? Next little test, fourth fret. We're going to press down on the third string and compare that to the second string. Open. We're going to move to the second string. We're going to depress on the third fret and compare that to the open first string. Our final comparison is to depress the first string on the fifth fret and compare that to the fifth string open. If all of those tones match nicely like that, we know that the banjo is in tune. That's also called a relative tuning. If you're in a situation where you don't have a tuner but you want the banjo to be in tune to itself, if you can get those strings to match that way, your banjo is going to sound much better than if it's out of tune. Some other points of comparison are to take the second string, depress it at the eighth fret for this tone, and if you listen that's going to match up with the fifth string.
if we take the third string and depress it on the 12th fret and compare that to the fifth string, they'll match. And if we go all the way up to the 17th fret, depress that and compare with the fifth string, they will match. If you move around your banjo that way and all of those test points are matching, you know you're going to be about as close to perfect tune as you can get. So that's tuning your banjo to an open G.